Hello everybody, my name is Aaron Cruz and I am here today to give you a few drills to help with your lower back tightness. Okay, it's pretty complex. This isn't meant to fix anything at all. Um, do go see your doctor if you and get clear to do this stuff. If you are having some trouble there, seek out a professional. But in any case, if you want to some assistance with loosening things up into your lower back, I believe a lot of that comes from the feet and um, our grip with the ground and our relationship with the ground and gravity. Okay, so um, the reason I say that is, um, is you could think about some of the things that hurt the back, you know, standing long hours, fixed positions, um, things tightening up. And so what could help the back out is to unlock some of those things. So I'm going to take you through a few right now with the light club bells. Okay, so I have some 10 pounders here. I have some five pounders here. Now, if I have um, a lot of tension in my feet and shins and calves, that's gonna translate all the way up into my hips and tighten up my lower back. And if the hamstrings are tight, that whole system's probably tight, pulling and fighting against each other. So I just wanna get some of the fight out of the body and relax the body a bit. And the club bell is a great tool for that. So I'll start out, um, the shape of the club bell is perfect. Um, you know, if you push your knees out, you know, you're going to feel that spiral into your ankles and into your hips, right? And, and engage your hips, load your hips. And so because of the, the angle of the club bell, right? We have this cone shape and it gets fatter. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to use that apex here, you know, to where I can roll and open up my feet. So I'm going to roll at that angle. It's going to feel the best. It's going to be more natural there. And I'll work that cone part of the club bell and open up my my toes and feet I open that up get a nice little stretch out of the calves and feet maybe roll to the inside edge get that band on the big toe and then all the way back to the heel now this is really going to help out um, you know uh, your your foot uh, function here's a smaller club bell and I'm doing the same thing here so it'll help out your foot function the mobility of it the connection with the ground and um, you know, help with your gait and walking around. So if anything, you know, we're, you know, first have better connection with the ground when we're standing, holding fixed positions, and then able to self-correct with proper alignment when we're walking, well, then that's going to help out our backs immediately, right? It's going to assist with things lining up better and feeling better. So I'm on a smaller club bell here, which you can use, keeping the toes open, finding the tight adhesions, just um, hanging out there for a little bit and slowly, you know, rolling them out, right? Slowly just to find this tight spot, slowly roll it out. And then if I want to really get crazy, I can go down to the knob. If I find like dense matted tissues, I want to get out some, which I, I have on this outside edge. I could be careful with it though. So you have that. So that's your, your first drill. You're, you're uh, rolling out your feet, right? And then you can stretch out the top of them here, get the top of them there, get the toes loosened up. And you'll be surprised how that'll assist loosening up all the way up your back. Okay. And that's why they have feet massages and they kind of relax tension in your legs and stuff like that. So boom. So you have that. The next thing you can do is use your, your light club bells for some stability. And so what I like to do with that is I'll use the wall as well, but I'll pull them in and flex my, my spine, flex my spine. So I'm not working from my lower back when I do this. So I'll flex my spine here. I'll bring my knee up and heal the butt. And I'll just work this nice and easy, relax. And this will help me keep my posture still. And I'll do that till the planted leg is burning a little bit and I feel that thigh working, burning. And I'll do the other side, pinch in, work on my stability and my control. And really it's gonna stop me from rocking back and forth. I don't wanna be there, I could, I could see the like club bells staying still, so I know my posture still if I'm picking them in, right? And I could choke up if, or down if they're too heavy or light, right? If I wanna make them lighter, I choke down. Okay, and then I could go into a straight leg. Really focusing on my posture. These are gonna help me focus on my posture. Oh good, it is on. So I'm gonna focus on, focus on my posture here, do the other side. I can stay honest into my core, and then I can start going up and outside. 
choking back up if they get a little heavy All right and just a little bit it doesn't take much i could always do it in sets do like sets of three or five um and then go back and forth right or do like reps of three or five and then like a few sets of it now i'm just in a hinge i'm gonna keep these flex tucked in and just from the hips a little bit in the knees now if your back is troubling you that might might not work for you so now we'll just reach up and over and then pull one down pull one down to the hip reach up and over so we're just gonna roll from one side to the other perfect perfect on that okay so we did a little hip swing we could do hip circles too keeping the you know the posture still and using the club bells to stabilize your position right so you're getting very little movement out of your your lower back now i'll go down put one down um, or you could keep two as well and so what we're going to do on this next drill is we're going to do a lateral uh flag right and the flag is up to you you know if they're light enough you know do it if not just keep them pulled in and so what we're going to do is bend the knees here i'm going to rotate to the outside edge and then just pull to the back corner right and then tuck underneath and i'm and when i do this i want to be able to I'll show you on this side I'll show you the knee here so the knee here i want to be able to keep it open sit to that back corner off the outside edge right and then use these for my posture and i could come back up root in laterally right back up root in laterally tuck the hips a bit and then extend so I'm really into that ankle and foot. So once again, we're working in to the ankle and shin. So if your back is, is troubling you, you'll notice this is probably hard for you. You know, you probably don't have good ankle mobility into the thighs and hips, right? So rotate, spiral in, pull to that back corner, open that up, tuck underneath. This side's tight. Tilt back tuck when you tuck then you're in position to extend out right then i can unlock the hip and sink back in so we have this lateral flag or rooted position and then i'll do my gunslinger with both now if it's too heavy right which it can be i'll just use one then i can rotate from here a little bit okay and then i can also switch my grip now if the rotation, just a little bit tucking the hips, we can also turn, turn, maybe separate. Okay. Because we want to open up the ribs too, hips tucked. All right. Okay. Tucking underneath, flexing. And then we'll do a little bit of um, coiling, right? And so if we're rooted in, pressing away, rooted in, pressing away, getting into that hip and pure formance, right? I could even open it and sink in, come up, tuck it, All right? We could do that with one club bell as well, okay? And you can feel that already opening up hip into the lower back. Now let's go ahead and tuck underneath, open up the shoulder blades, rotate it rotate it a bit switching grip inhale lift good so all that's gonna contribute right because now we're opening up our thoracic spine into the hips after the ankles so that's gonna help contribute to the lower back stuff <clears throat> um coiling you know what we can do is like i hold it here step across and just rotate over or extend or just do one Okay, and so notice the positioning of the body, right? I'm doing this dragon squat or curtsy, and I'm twisting over, looking at the heel, and then opening that up. Okay, opening up the ribs, twisting across. That's gonna help unwind your spine as well. Dragon squat position, rotating over, right? I could even be here and reach over, work on my order position. Elbow into the back pocket, reach up and over. Good. Gunslinger. And then, of course, 
circling the hip again. Now after you feel like things are loosening up pretty good, stabilize your position a little bit more. You can use a club bell still, and we just want to spiral the hip here by circling the foot right underneath the knee. And then we could do the other side. Just continuing to rotate those hips, loosen them up, exhale again. So that is our standing um, light club bell drills to help loosen up your, your, uh, you know, your feet all the way into your lower back. So we know, um, you know, those one carries the other, right? One affects the other. So hope that helps you out. Um, let me know, put your message in the comment. Let me know um, how those feel and how your back feels after that.